Hello, hi, my name is Adam and I'm from RioI and I'm super excited to share with you today our uh, newest feature, uh, which is testing on auto-generated environment. And as a first auto-generated environment, uh, I would like to present to you uh, Instagram mockups. So uh, let me start by uh, creating a new study. Uh, for those of you who are already familiar with our dashboard, uh, you probably already seen, noticed that there is a new tab here, auto-generated environments. And once I press it, I can start creating my uh, Instagram mockup. So uh, first of all, uh, I need to check, I need to set which devices I would like my panelists to join the study. I'm just going to leave smartphones and uh, the maximum threshold, the maximum study time uh, for this uh, for this particular study is going to be limited to one minute. I will leave all the other options as they are. I don't think that's relevant right now to show it to, to show you what they mean. Uh, and what I would like to do right now is to add some content. Let's just give the system a few more uh, seconds to uh, finish the upload and I'll get back to you in a moment. Okay, so the content is here. Uh, so right now uh, we can define what is going to be visible on the feed. So starting from the top, I did upload some uh, images based content, but also some videos. So uh, let me start by presenting uh, one video and then all the other images. So first of all, I need to check this little icon here, part of feed. Uh, so I'm just going to tell uh, the system that this element should be displayed as part of feed. I can add a username. So let's say that there's going to be a videos uh, profile. I can also add some subtitles. Sometimes uh, the subtitle in Instagram feed is just a one caption spawn sponsored. I can also define whether this user is confirmed or not. That will cause displaying this little icon here. I can also change the image URL or enable the pop-up. I'm not going to do it right now. So what I'm just going to do is I will uh, add some more posts here. Okay, a few more. Okay, I think that's enough. The feed should be pretty uh, pretty interesting already. So we can also add some uh, advertisements here. Let me just add a few more, two more things. Uh, There's going to be an advertisement and an, a website screenshot that is going to be used for the uh, advertisement target. So once it is uploaded, I'm going to I'm going to make one pop up. So I'm just dragging the uh, advertisement, let's say right over here. Uh, this is going to be displayed as post. So this is right over here. That's the one. And what I can do right now is I can uh, define some additional information about this particular let's say sponsored content. So this is one that's going to be spawn, sponsored. Uh, the image URL, uh, yeah, let's say that I would like to replace the default logotype with the, our company logotype. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take a real eye logotype from Google, copy image address and paste the address here. It should be replaced automatically. And what I can do right now is to I can enable pop-up. Once I did it, as you can see there, the caption learn more just appeared right over here. And what I need to do is to select which stimuli, which item I will pop up after uh, pressing this learn more button. So what I already did is I uploaded the real iwebsite.png, which is a long screenshot of our mobile uh, of our mobile uh, real i website. And as usually happens on Instagram, when you click this learn more button, users, well, you, our users are just redirected to a website, a third party website, which can be also uh, a content that uh, we can capture uh, the eye tracking metrics, eye tracking data on. We have also some options here to control the CTA text. So for instance, I can, 
I can change it to click here. I can change some background colors, CTA colors, and so on. Uh, and once I click, there will be this pop-up with the website. And again, once I click learn more, I'll be redirected back uh, to the actual, uh, to the feed again. Uh, so when we are happy with the preview, uh, we can just move on to the next element, uh, which is running the study. Uh, we can also run the preview by ourselves, share the preview link to test it on our smartphones, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'll just select participants and start the study. Uh, I'll set, I'll leave, me, I'll leave the limit to 100 and move forward. Okay, so once the study is ready, uh, we are on the study dashboard page. And here on the right, we will have all the items that we can run the analysis on. So first of all, we're going to have the feed. And secondly, we'll have all the items that are uh, defined as our pop-ups. But okay, let's focus now on uh, the aspect of date collecting the data. So uh, let me just open the test link in the a new tab. So I'm going to imitate a smartphone using my Chrome web browser. Uh, you can imagine that on any smartphone, iOS or Android, no, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it would it would feel similarly to the one to the process that I'm doing right now. So uh, I don't know if you're familiar with our calibration and with the process. So quickly about that. Uh, right now, our system is learning how my eyes and my face look like while I'm looking at certain parts of, of dif at different parts of the screen. Uh, so this is called the calibration. In a moment, there'll be a, a quick process called validation, meaning uh, I'll be asked to destroy four dots just using my eyes. And in case I would not be able to uh, to proceed, I will need to recalibrate again. So this is the one. I'm destroying these four dots just using my eyes, and the actual uh, feed testing begins. So what I can see here is all the, the first video content. I can uh, like it. I can click the heart icon. I can scroll. I'm looking more or less when I'm moving my mouse right now. Uh, I can also click and activate the uh, clickable areas, the pop-ups. So this is the advertisement, and my eyes are also my eye movements are also captured on the advertisement. I can sc scroll down and look at all the posts, leave some likes, and once the test is done, I'll just get redirected to the thank you page. Now, from the study owner perspective. Uh, we should be already able to see my results and they are right over here. We can see the test flow, which gives us some information about how much time I've spent on the feed, on the pop-up, and then if I return to the feed, then the feed again. Uh, but we can also see the individual participants recording. So let's take a look at uh, what was captured from my session. So as you can see, there are clicks, there are uh, eye movements. So I was looking at these posts, then I was looking at the faces on the advertisement, then I clicked. So this is the website that is part of the advertisement. And once it's done, uh, I was navigated back to the feed and looked and browsed through the through, through all, all other elements. So this is the individual recording. So we can see how individual participants were navigating through, uh, through the predefined feed. The feed can be also randomized. So meaning that right now uh, the order of viewing was predefined at the very beginning, but we can also randomize the content. So each, each element will get, uh, let's, let's say fair amount of uh, chances that is going to be uh, presented. Uh, in the same, let's say, amount of time. But let's now let's now jump to the aggregated data analysis. So this is a very similar this is a similar feed, uh, but there is 46 participants who left the data who are interacting with it, and we have some few few more options here to run the data analysis. So first of all, we can use the time slider. Uh, to define what is the time span that it's in our scope of interest. So let's say that we're interested in all the data that we have. Uh, so the heat map will paint in more red. We can also customize the heat map to set, let's say, all the let's say the density of the of the heat map a little bit more. Uh, let's say 
interesting when it comes to uh, to the actual areas that were that were uh, that were viewable more. Uh, we can see that the heat map looks slightly different, but again, I was not changing the data behind the heat map. I was just changing the visualization layer to enhance the elements that got more attention. Uh, we could also filter out participants by name, gender, tags, or other elements. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, what I would like to show is that we can right now start all our measurements. So let's say that we are looking here for the most, uh, for the best post, the post that brought the most attention. So what we could, what we can do is to uh, select areas of interest. We can do it manually, but we could also use the predefined areas of interest that our system generated for us. So I just returned for a moment to our demo study. Uh, because we, within this study, we have already an option to generate areas of interest automatically. So here they are. We could see all the metrics for each individual area of interest. I'll just go back to the to the one that I've created a moment ago uh, and see what was what are the metrics for them. So, for instance, uh, the first post. Average time spent, six seconds, six and a half seconds, six clicks. We can go down and create areas of interest for all the other posts. So for instance, that was a post with the video with a video. So the average spend average time spent was around four and a half seconds with the actually pretty pretty intense attention the, the attention is very very is a variation between minus one to one so having an attention of 0 0.5 it's pretty 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 nice result there were also seven clicks we can also visualize the clicks uh, so they, there they are there were some clicks in the heart icon there were some clicks in the in the audio uh, and uh, let's say another post so it feels like that that one did not receive much attention. The, the attention was actually minus 0 0.35 and the average time spent is around one seven seconds. So it, I would not say this post was rather interesting and so on and so on. So we can move, so we can go with our analysis, read some benchmarks, upload some static images, some video content, some advertisements and see how the advertisements are uh, being, how they're viewable among other other competitive posts. Uh, so obviously, as usual, uh, heat maps can be downloaded to PNGs. You can also download the uh, the actual videos of people uh, browsing uh, the the mockups. Uh, so this is also pretty interesting as we observe that the uh, that the heat map is going down and down while people were navigating uh, with their eyes to the bottom parts of the of the of the feeds. Uh, and that's more or less what I wanted to present to you today. Uh, so again, this is pretty exciting for us. This is our first auto-generated environment, Instagram mockup. It's in beta phase. Uh, so we're keen to hear from you, whether you like the feature, what do you think about it? And in case you have, uh, you'd like to get more auto-generated environments, just let us know through our contact page or email me directly at adam at relay.io and Let's talk. Let's see what we can do together. Have a good day. Bye-bye.